a much-anticipated letter from jailed outlawed Kurdistan Workers' Party, PKK, leader Abdullah Akalan that will be read out during Nevra's celebrations in Diyarbakir will be historic, according to People's Democratic Party, HDP, Istanbul Deputy SRR Shuri Yaonder. I asked Akalan the difference between this letter and the previous ones. He said, the previous two messages were peace calls. This letter will give a global perspective, which is vital for all of us, in order to build a democratic republic, Under told Med News Television on March 15, a day after he met with Akalan on Rural Island as part of a five-member delegation. Under declined to comment on the letter's content, but added, the letter includes a substantial roadmap and a whole new perspective both for the nation and the region, with all theoretical, practical and quality details on the road to peace. A five-member delegation, including HDP Deputy Parliamentary Group Chair Pervin Bolden and the CO Chair of the Democratic Society Congress, DTK, Haytype Dickel, met Akalan on March 14 to convey messages received from the Kandile Mountains, where the PKK's military headquarters are located. Akalan said during their meeting on March 14 that a joint, March 5th declaration from the HDP and the government over the peace process possessed a historic meaning, Ander said, adding that the PKK leader also said the joint declaration had opened the door for a genuine negotiation process, while calling on everyone to exert efforts on the issue. The PKK leader also told the delegation that the 10-article text written by him and announced during the March 5th meeting included a historic opportunity for the democratization of Turkey. Meanwhile, Ander also commented on Deputy Prime Minister Yalın Akdoğan's recent remarks on the foundation of a monitoring body, in which the government official said suggestions about the foundation of the body were a complete lie. It is a problematic statement for us in the process. Perhaps, the only acceptable part of Akdoğan's statement was that the 16 members of the monitoring body had not been clarified yet, said Ander, adding that a monitoring body would be formed and that the public would be informed immediately. Akalan's letter will be written as with previous messages, despite the HDP's efforts to obtain permission for a video message in which Akalan would speak himself.